If you've watched some of my previous videos, you know that Evolution has sent me this sort of test and reviewed and took out this uh, piece of steel, just thinking it was normal mild steel, just a piece of angle iron, and it's blunted the blade. Now I do have a piece of mild steel that Evolution sent to me. So, although they're slightly larger, or this one's slightly larger than this, they look very similar. So, how do you tell the difference between a hardened steel or a carbon steel and a mild steel? Hopefully, we're about to find out. And for some of my subscribers, run the intro. <laughs> Grinder. Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome to the channel. So yes, I've blunted the blade on here. It is a multi-material blade. It cuts steel, cuts alloy, wood, you name it. Well, it cuts it. Well, you name it. Apart from, apart from hardened steel, it only cuts mild steel. Um, now I thought this. I had this lad around outside and just thought it was mild steel, so just went to cut it and. I think it's uh, blunted the blade. It sort of got halfway through and then it was sort of bouncing around, didn't like it. So, Evolution sent me a box over with bits and pieces that we're all gonna do our test cutting on the next video. We've got uh, copper, bits of aluminium, uh, wood, plastics, and also a piece of mild steel. Now, if you look closely at these two, I'm not sure whether you can see, you know, they both have shiny ends whether you can see that or not i mean the one they've sent me is a little bit thicker than this one but just by looking at them you wouldn't really be able to tell which one's which so we're going to do a spark test and hopefully it's going to tell us which one's a mild steel and whether this is a hardened steel which as you can see i've already um, cut this with the angle grinder so i know what kind of sparks come out here but I thought it'd be a good test so you don't make the same mistake of trying to cut a hardened steel or a carbon steel with the blade when it's only meant for mild steel. It will cut it like it's done on there. It will cut it, but just the once. So um, I've ordered a new blade. So yeah, so we've got the new one that's arrived now. I have paid for that. Evolution haven't sent me this. I had to pay for it because I buggered the blade. But um, this comes with a 16 tooth blade, but I've upgraded to the 20 tooth blade. So hopefully that will give you a few woods and stuff like that. It'll give you a, a bit of a finer cut. So we'll be changing that later. But first of all, let's get these onto the workbench with the angle grinder and we'll do the spark test. Right, so let's get our angle grinder on this and check out the sparks and then we'll I'll get the other one in there, do the same again, and then we'll come back and check the footage out. I'm gonna try and do this up here so the cameras can view the sparks. Right, so we just put a couple of nicks in there with the angle grinder. So let's have a quick look back at the footage and we'll see what the sparks are like. Actually, another test we can do. Right, so if, if, you've got a, if you haven't got an angle grinder, maybe you've got a bench grinder at home, you know, we can check the sparks out on, let's have a look at the sparks on this as well. I should really um, bolt this to the bench, but it's only gonna be two seconds. Oh, 
Right, now we try the other piece. Right, so now we can, uh, we'll just have a quick look at the two tests and uh, we'll have a look at the sparks and see what that tells us. Right, now on the left we have the hardened steel and on the right we have the mild steel. Uh, as you can see with the angle grinder, with the hardened steel there's a lot more sparks and they're all forking at the end of the sparks. With the mild steel there's less and the lines are straighter. Now on the bench grinder We've got the hardened steel on the left, mild steel on the right, and the hardened steel is creating a lot more sparks. And in this close up, we'll see you've got a lot more forking at the end of the sparks, whereas the mild steel, the lines, the sparks are a lot straighter with hardly any forks and a few less sparks as well. Well, that's it, that is our test done. Now, I don't know much about steels. Um, but I know about, I've heard about the spark test and I've had a look at the spark test. Um, now whether this is harden or carbon steel, I don't know whether harden and carbon steel is the same kind of thing. But as you can see with this one, which I'm going to call the hardened steel, you can see there are a lot more sparks coming out of there. And at the end of all the sparks, um, they fork off in all different directions. There's sort of you know little mini explosions at the end. So that is your hardened or carbon steel, whatever it's what. And then obviously your mild steel, as you can see on the footage, the, there was uh, quite a few less sparks. And um, if you looked at a majority of the sparks, they were just straight lines. There was a couple that had little forks at the end of them, but the majority of the sparks were straight lines. So that's how you, you can tell whether you've got a mild steel or a hardened steel. So hopefully you don't make the same mistake that I did by trying to cut through hardened steel and blunt your blade. So now you can do that little test with the angle grinder or with a bench grinder if you've got one. You might be able to use a, a random orbit sander with um, like an 80 or 60 grit paper. I don't know whether that will bring any sparks out of these to see. Maybe that's something you could try. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it will help you in some way and avoid you having any little accidents. But that's the end. Join me in the next video when we'll be going through this box of stuff. We'll be cutting this mild steel with our new blade. We'll get our new blade in there. So if you've enjoyed the video, please comment, please like, please subscribe. Do all the things you've got to do. Share the video to your friends. See you soon.